What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Shopcast, episode 37, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, hope you're having a great day, everybody. Or hope your weekend's starting off good anyways. Uh, this is a good episode for me anyways. I was looking forward to this one. I uh, hope it's not a shit show. Who knows? But we're talking about A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. So if you're interested in that, uh, stay tuned. We're going to talk about it a little bit and uh, maybe some other things. I got at least one more movie that I want to talk about that I watched that's going to it's crazy but anyways yeah i hope you're all having a good day thank you for joining us tonight josh chris hanging out doing our thing me and josh are going to do something next week i don't know when he'll have it uh posted but i wanted to talk about it a little earlier this week josh is doing his own show now i think it's a resurrection of an old channel correct yes sir and yep. so he's doing stuff it's just my name uh, okay. josh wingard but uh doing my own show um probably just once a month I think I'm just going to post it like the first day of the month. And like Randall said, we're going to do it. Me and him are going to do an episode last last month. Uh, me and Chris did an episode. And tomorrow we're actually going to watch the movie and then record it. And the next couple of days we're going to do Rafifi. I'm super excited about this. Yeah, man. Me too. I'm excited just to go watch it on the projector. That's part of the reason that I get to yeah. get out of the house for a little while and come hang out. I've never been to Chris's house. It's going to be nice. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we want to plug Josh's stuff too because it's a completely different thing than we're doing over here at Shop Thirty One. His stuff is much more. Uh, you're gonna focus on classic movies, correct? Yeah, that's that's the idea. So he's gonna have a different template than what I've got, but a familiar face. So you're gonna want to go check his stuff out. And um, as we grow, I want to shovel people over to him because that's my dude right there. And uh, if you like what we're doing here, I don't see how you possibly couldn't like what he's doing over there. I would be pretty shocked. So. Um, yeah, we're going to do that, and I'll let you guys know when it's up, and we'll, we'll, we'll post some links, and we'll post links to his stuff in Shopcast's description, so if you're interested in what he's doing, you can go check it out and, and show some support over there. Um, but yeah, we, we watched, as a group, A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. That was my second time I watched it in like two weeks. Watched it with my wife, and I liked it even more. There was things I didn't catch the first I still want to watch it again. I think there's things I didn't catch it this time. Uh, I think they did one of those things where it's less is more is a really good thing because it's such a simple movie, but it's so complex in my opinion. Uh, Chris, technically you picked it. <laughs> so do you want to talk about it a little bit and explain what it's about? Yeah. I mean, yeah, like you said, it's fairly simple plot, but really just about a girl that is a vampire and oh, kind of dude i was hoping you were gonna go that walks home alone walks at night. Home at night. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't even think about that i mean she walks home alone and it's at night so yeah it all applies <laughs> yeah. um, that's the plot <laughs> <laughs> and it's like all right guys see you next week <laughs> <laughs> stuff happens and then the movie ends um but not like she kind of like stalks you know, different kind of like bad people, I guess. Like predatorial guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then she just kind of meets some other guy that's kind of got his own thing going on. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't want to like spoil it in the first few seconds, but pretty simple story. Yeah. Well, it's it's OK. So the movies, if you watch anything or you read the, 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 the synopsis of the movie, it straight up tells you that she's a vampire and She's basically like a female uh, vigilante of sorts. I mean, not quite, but sort of. And, you know, that's essentially how she's feeding. Um, it's, is it Israeli? Is that what it was? Iranian. Iranian. Thank, I'm so sorry. My apologies to anybody that might have upset. Uh, um, but it's filmed in black and white. It's uh, got English subtitles. There's a honestly, there's very little dialogue if you really kind of sit back and look at it. There's not much talking going on. It's more of like if you don't pay attention to what's happening on the screen, you're gonna miss something. You don't have hell. You could probably even not even pay attention to the to the dialogue very much and just go by tone of voice and what's happening on the screen, and you'll get most of what's happening. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know, man. The movie, the movie in my opinion, it, it's super high contrast. There's not a lot of gray tone in there. It's mostly just black, white, and there's some dark grays and some dark, dirty whites. Like, it's not very many shades of color in this. It's it's yeah. quite pretty, in my opinion. It, yeah, it's for, for as kind of, I keep using the word simple, but as simple as it is, it's a beautiful movie. That's what's, 
the sh- grabbing me about it is that it's not complex at all, yet I find that it would probably be almost impossible to replicate this kind of movie. Like, unless you're the same person that made it. Like, if, if, I, if I was trying to go fix, make a movie even similar to that with the same equipment, I just don't think I could do it. Like, it, I think the, the, the person that did it knew what they were doing. Yeah, it, it kind of almost felt a little bit like a Jarmish movie. It um, kind of did. Dude, that's what I was waiting to say that. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Uh, yes. No, it, gotcha. it, it, dude. That's what I that's what I was thinking when I was laying on the couch watching it. I was thinking of uh the one where they're in jail. Yeah. And I was yeah. just like, man, this feels kinda like that movie a little bit, but I honestly thought I was just tripping, so I wasn't gonna ever say it. So thank I, you. <laughs> it totally was. It, Josh looks legit irritated about that. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I, I like had I like had that revelation earlier. I was thinking about it, like what I was gonna say. And I was like, I, I, I like that's exactly what I was about to say. Yeah, I stopped. Dude, a he, had, he had that times. shit on deck, and Chris just sniped it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I stopped a couple of times when I was watching it. Just you know, this this feels very Jarmish, and yeah, I love the movie. It was it was fantastic. Um, um, yeah, beautiful. For an extremely inexperienced cast, I thought they did really good. Like yeah. at least to my, I, I did a little bit of looking into it, not much, but I looked into it. None of them seem to have a big history in film. Like they're all relatively new to acting. Yeah, and, really, uh, just the main chick that's been in a few things. Shoot, even her. She, that was like one of her first things she did. Yeah, that was, that was a, before you know, Sixty Eight Kill, and that was definitely before the one that came out last year. Yeah, this was what twenty fourteen. So yeah, something like that. It's a little older now, I guess. But uh, I find her striking personally but um there's i like the there's almost no blood in the movie there's nothing i mean there's nothing really there's like no cursing this is like a movie like yet i still wouldn't want my kid really watching it like i don't know how to explain it it's not there's hardly anything that's bad in the movie but it's like i don't know because that would scare the pants off a kid i think uh yeah yeah. that was a a, i mean the very was it the first scene when they kind of reveal her as a vampire? No, I think it's after that. It was very early, she, though. Whenever she's following the kid and she, like, fucks with that kid and steals a skateboard. When she started talking to him and she got that, like, low demon voice, like, I got chills. It was it was really cool. I thought that was a nice touch. I love that she's skateboarding around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What you think? Apparently, of the, the director is a is a skateboarder or something like a lifelong oh. skateboarder. Okay. When I first watched it, I had no idea it was like produced or whatever by Vice. That 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 when I saw that, I was like, all right, this is either going to be something I like a lot or just hate because Vice <laughs> is super black and yeah. white for me. They either make something I love or just can't stand. But um, that's very true. Yeah, that's a yeah. Elijah Wood produced it as well. Dude, I saw that the other night for the first yeah. time. I was like, how did I not catch that when I watched it originally? That guy's slowly becoming somebody that I absolutely love, dude. Oh, yeah. He's got his yeah, hands he... on a lot of cool movies. Dude, when I watched the uh, Eli Roth's History of Horror, he was all over that. Mm-hmm. Like, he's apparently, like, that's like that's like his favorite shit, too. I want to meet that guy so bad now. After after just learning about him over the past 12, 18 months, like, that guy's in, into all kinds of cool stuff, man. Yeah. What we need to do uh, once the world goes back to normal is uh, like go to south by southwest one year yes because because they're like I, he i know he like almost was always there and well, that a lot of other cool people I'll take my GoPro. we'll just film all kinds of cool stuff dude and just go see a whole bunch of movies that haven't come out Absolutely. yet and that shit would be yeah. awesome that would be amazing but, but yeah, yeah the movie's pretty straightforward and simple there's not a whole lot of detail to talk about without just completely ruining everything but uh what do you think of the movie josh I liked it. I liked it. I, I I think it took me like the whole movie to realize what it was because there was a point where I was kind of losing patience with it um, because Whoa. not a whole lot happens. Um, it's gorgeous and it's it's not really plot driven at all. It's a mood piece. It's it. It's like it's art. It's like art house. Yeah. Snobbery, which I'm kind of surprised I liked it. <laughs> Yeah, I was a little surprised watching it. I was like, I'm, I'm kind of. I mean, I know it's sort of like music that you would kind of dig, and that's yeah. a lot of it. It's yeah. very, it's very much about tone. That's what than, I, I liked it because it felt like something. It just had a feeling of 
familiarity and like something that I would be like, oh, I would be in a movie like this if I was an actor. Like this is what I would like to do. Like yeah. exactly the music, the clothing they wore, like the way that they moved around, like the car he drove, all that stuff was exactly the stuff that I think is awesome. So that's probably, you probably explained it better than I would why I liked it. <laughs> Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's. I mean, everything about it technically is 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 awesome. It's a gorgeous black and white movie. All the music is perfect. Um, it's 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 extremely simple. There's, I mean, very few plot points, but it's also balancing a lot of different things. Like, there's so many different elements to it because it's a it's sort of a romance it's a vampire movie it's a right. little bit of a western it's like there's so many things that you wouldn't think and, and it's it's iranian i mean it's like it's there's so many different things <laughs> about it that that you wouldn't ever like put in a blender together uh, well since people are probably used to us going pretty in depth with movies, I don't really feel like they should be watching this if they don't want to hear about details. Yeah, it's on six a movie. years old. Yeah, I was gonna say, and it's not like it's, you know, a brand new movie. So, I want to know what was it that you were uh, bothered by when you were watching it? Like, what was it that was that you were, uh, what was not getting it? I, I'm just curious. I, I don't want to argue, but I just want to know what it was that was bothering you because I, 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 I want to know if maybe I just didn't see something or. I mean. I I don't think I don't think it's the movie's fault. I think it's probably more my fault. I I think I wasn't maybe in the right. I, I don't think it was what I was expecting. That's always and, a, a speed bump when that happens. Yeah, I mean, I, I try not to bring that stuff into watching the movie, but it's inevitable sometimes. Yeah. And I think if I well, I, I don't know. I just. Maybe I wasn't in the right mood for it or something for a while. It just took me a while to get into it. And around the middle of the movie, I was just kind of like, it, it's very slow. Like there's yeah, there's no, it's definitely not big, a big. It's big sections of the movie where it it like people are basically moving in slow motion. Like you know, it's just dude. There's a lot of strange shit going on in this movie. It's not normal. It's a it's a very strange movie for yeah. sure. There's gonna be a, this is this has got to be divisive, I'd imagine. I haven't talked to a lot of people that have seen it yet, but yeah. I had two copies at the store, and both times that somebody saw it on the shelf, they bought it from me. So like, I know people like it, but there's got to be people that just go, ugh, no. And I wouldn't even be I wouldn't even be mad about it. Yeah, I could totally see uh, someone going either way on it, and I w I want to watch it again. I think I will like it again a second time, like knowing what to expect and. Yeah. Like, because I like I like Jarmish, and that was gonna be my my big point. Like, it feels so much like uh, like uh, Stranger Than Paradise or something. It's yep. almost nothing happens in the movie, but it's just <laughs> these people taking this short journey for no reason, almost. And but it's just their lives, and it's kind of beautiful. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I just I, I don't know. It just it wasn't quite what I was expecting, but I, I I think I appreciated it while I was watching it more than I was like really enjoying it. But yeah, I'll enjoy It'll it happen. more on a second watch. So when when I was first watching it, at the very beginning of the movie, you meet the kid's dad and he's shooting dope in between his toes. All right, mm -hmm. it's not a secret that I've had a long history with with drug abuse and shit like that. Right, I've rarely seen a situation in a movie that was portrayed the right way and the moment he like leaned back and made that face and did this I told Carissa the other night I said I guarantee you that that guy has done drugs in his real in his life in, in real life there's no way he could have done it that well because it looked hell I wouldn't be surprised to find out he did drugs when they made that movie Vice has done all kinds of weird shit with their doing drugs on, on screen but that kind of hooked me because so often when a movie has drug use in it it just looks ridiculous and i'm like dude come on this looked very real and I, so it kind of caught my attention and i was like wow that was didn't i didn't know that was in this movie and i was like that's crazy well that's a pretty big plot point like on, oddly enough for something that doesn't have very many that's kind of important so like uh yeah a lot of stuff happens because of that scene 
And yeah. I actually uh, wanted to ask you about that. Um, yeah, him him doing the the heroin in the very beginning, and then that kind of like weird punky drug dealer guy doing. They got coke. strange as fuck looking. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I was I was very curious like how I've never done that before, so I was curious how accurate all that was. So when he just kind of falls back and he's just like not moving, I you, that's what happens. You just I mean you'll sit there for eight hours like that, but you'll be completely coherent. And if something happens, you'd get up and do things. Like I would be sitting like that for hours, dude. And then all of a sudden I'd realize I was hungry and I would just go cook something and go back, go back to the <laughs> sitting again when I was done. And uh, that part when the guy's like, are you a junkie? And he's like smacking him around and talking shit to him. And he's like, man, I'm sick, I'm sick. That is exactly, that's the words I would use, dude. Are you a junkie? No, man, I'm just sick, I'm sick. And that's all, you know, oh, I want my medicine. That's all, dude, every drug addict that I've ever met in my life, and it is a lot of them. I'm sick. I need my medicine. That's it. It's a simple thing, but it made it very real. And it just kind of caught me off guard. And I was like, wow, I didn't know that was in this movie. And then I was like, that's eerily, you know, familiar. And I just thought I should pay more attention to this. And that was the moment I knew I should have watched this movie a long time ago because I knew I was going to like it. I was like, all right, well, if they can make this part right and accurate, I don't support that kind of activity. But if you're going to do it, make a movie about it, at least do it right, you know? So. Yeah. They're gonna make that, make it right, you know. It was, yeah. But I knew it was also a risky movie to have y'all watch. I thought Josh would really like it. I do think he's gonna really like it on a rewatch when it's planned and he kind of knows what he's getting into a little bit more. But I didn't want to tell you anything about it because I didn't. I just wanted to see what you felt. I knew that. I mean, hell, there's been a handful of movies that I've said exactly the same thing. Yeah, I didn't really like it, but I think I might if I rewatch it later. And I, and, you know, when it time comes, I'll rewatch it, whatever it was. There was one recently. What was it that we, re- we watched recently that I wanted to like rewatch because I just didn't like it at all? Well, and last I, week when we watched Brazil. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's going to need a rewatch. <laughs> For sure. That one was rough. <laughs> but I mean, really, though, how could I like? I don't know, man. Whatever. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm for sure going to going to buy this movie. Um, I need to find a Blu-ray I, copy of it. Yeah, I think I was a little. It's a Kino Orber movie, so it's on. It's on their their website. Yeah, but I, I only found DVDs when I went. I'm pretty sure I saw Blu-rays. There's, you uh, know there's what? It might have just been sold out when I bought mine. Maybe. Um, I probably maybe should or shouldn't bring this up to you, but there's also a vinyl pressing of the soundtrack. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I'd have to find out what it sounds like first, because on something like that, if I'm gonna spend money, because it's not gonna be cheap, probably. I it's like don't. 40 bucks, I think it's not. I'm sorry. Free. It's like forty bucks. It's not crazy, but it is a little. Yeah, a little... but for forty bucks, I can go get a really good punk record that I know I'll listen to a lot. Yeah. But uh, I I really love the music for sure. The music was so, it was really good. The part where they're in the room and he's, she's standing with her face towards the wall or mirror or whatever, and he's like was... walking, and it's like a whole five minute walk where he, where he was moving in slow motion, basically. That's my favorite part of the whole movie. I'm up, dude. I got Hope Patrol Manic on my hands for a reason, dude. I love that kind of shit. I was like, yes, dude. It was like, <laughs> that's the part of the movie that I thought was just like, it was perfect, man. I thought it was beautiful. And uh, yeah. the music would have could have ruined it. They could have picked a wrong song and it could have been terrible. And I was so excited that they picked something good and that it sounded right. And who knows, man, they could have just fell into that because they didn't have the money to buy something uh, a little more popular. I don't know. But yeah, I am interested in the soundtrack. Yeah, I wanted to, I saw it before I watched it. Uh, but now that I've watched it, I kind of want to go back and at least see what's on it. I mean, I'm right. assuming it has all those songs on it too. Because my other part I liked was the when they meet in the power plant or whatever it was and he pierces her ears. With the safety pin, that was another good part. Yeah. That was a pretty good song in there too. There was some good music in that movie, man, and it was subtle. It wasn't yeah. like in your face. Yep. Yeah, I think I was a little more prepared maybe for it because I had the comic and I read the first issue of the comic. It's not an exact adaptation, but I think it at least kind of prepared me for what I was getting into. Yeah, I should have told you that. I should have at least said, like, look, it's really slow paced. I didn't even think about that. If I'd have told you that, you could have at least been prepared for that. Because knowing that it's that slow, it kind of helps, I'd imagine. 
like knowing I'm about to sit down and watch something that's got little to no action. Yeah, which I mean is not a bad thing. I watch stuff like that all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just nice to know um, it ahead of time. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think I was expecting it to be a little bit more of a horror movie than it was. That's the biggest thing about it. But I think we have different definitions of horror movie. Because I was about to say something that I'm glad I didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's only like two scenes where she kills anyone and most of the rest of it's more of a love story. I mean... Yeah, a horror movie and scary movie are very different. And I think yeah. the fact that she's the main person and she's a vampire, it's a horror movie. But I, it's pretty cut and dry to me, is what I'm saying. Like, I, just I look mean, at like, when I say more of a horror movie, I mean like... More like more, scary uh, stuff, more darker... Yeah, I was expecting it to have more, more Scary like stuff. kill scenes and stuff like yeah. of conventional horror movie. I saw a list that was like ten horror movies where only one person dies in it, and I was like, <laughs> "Huh, I don't know that I'd want to watch those horror movies." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "That's a that's a list of shit not to watch." All right, cool, thank you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I see your point. Though. I, I understand that. I just when you said it, it just kind of caught me off guard you know me i react poorly to this shit and then i have to go back and apologize later that's how i roll but uh i uh i do it to people on youtube all the time <laughs> oh dude i just shocking well i completely shit on this dude dax which in all fairness this song was trash but uh i went back because some people were like yo blah 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 and they explained to me like this i just happened i guess to have heard all his songs like that and that was it and so uh some people were like no you should go just go look at his social media and you might like him better. And I was like, Oh, okay. So I did. And I just happened to catch him on a live stream and he was like really funny. And then I felt bad. I was like, Oh, come on, man. Like you couldn't be just a prick on here. So I can go see, told you, and then move on. And now I feel obligated to dig into this dude's catalog and go find some more music that maybe I don't hate, but I don't like it when people complain all the time and talk about poor me, poor me, poor me. I deserve more respect. Fucking no, you don't. Nobody does, man. Like geez, Louise. But, uh, yeah, I got a lot of shit from people about, I put in the uh, title, Hip Hop's Most Arrogant uh, Victim, with a question mark, and people just immediately, it was like, dislike, 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 I was like, well, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, he got, it got like two and a half million views in one day, so I should have expected that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man, that's funny. Yeah, nice. Well, let's uh, let's grade this movie and talk about a couple of other things, man. I wanted to, you know, I know, I know it's already nine o'clock because of, uh, well, me and eBay. So my apologies, fellas. Uh, uh, I flat out a ten. I whatever. On to the next, Chris. What do you think? Um, eight five. I, I really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Room for room for growth in there. I think a little bit. Josh is like fucking four. <laughs> it's too boring. Uh, <laughs> uh seven. Really, I, that, that surprises me a little bit, but I, I can tell that you are interested in rewatching it and that you actually do want to watch it again. It'd be pretty obvious if you didn't. Yeah, no, I am. I'm. I am. I, am uh, I will at some point rewatch it for sure. I need to make it clear when I say ten about something, I'm not saying ten on a scale of like what I think the world should see it as. It's strictly a, a subjective ten, in yeah. my opinion. In that genre of movie, I don't think he could do better, personally. But, you know, I also feel like in the future, a movie could come out that is just better, and I could go, oh, yeah, this no longer looks like a 10 to me. Uh, so many people can't grasp that your opinion can change. I, I deal with that a lot on with the comments. They're gonna, they, I hear a lot like, oh, you said that you liked this a lot last time, and now you don't, or, or vice versa. You didn't like this last week, but you like it now. I'm like, yeah, sometimes my opinion changes. If I hear a song once and I don't like it just right off the bat, I'm hearing these songs for the first time. So if I, if I hear it and I go, eh, I just don't like it. Dude, if you hear anything three or four times, your opinion can and most likely will change at least a little. You, and you may hate it more, but you may like it more too. And I guess, you know, folks on the internet can't understand that, so... Uh, when I say 10, that is subject to change if I wanted to. Yeah, sure. Of course. But, uh, okay. Did anybody watch anything else this week? Because this was a busy week for me. I didn't watch a whole lot else, but I did watch one thing the other night that just fucked me up, dude. It was so awesome. <laughs> like, oh, man. 
Yeah, I watched a classic trilogy that I haven't watched in a long time. I watched Indiana Jones Ooh. for the first time in uh, nice. 15, 20 years, something like that at least. Um, since when was Temple of Doom a giant piece of shit? Since it came out. <laughs> like Yeah, it's n- never been that good. Yeah, Raider, Raiders and um, Last, Last Crusade. Crusade are great. Um, well, we watched those not too long ago. The kids wanted to watch them. And I couldn't make it through a single one of them. That's insane. Dude, I thought I was going to love them. I, I remember that... loving those movies. Like, yeah, I had a full-size cutout of Indy that Carissa <laughs> gave me. Like, if you'd have asked me a couple weeks ago, how do you feel about Indiana Jones? I would have said, that shit's awesome. What are you talking about? I couldn't. They're absolute terrible movies, dude. I, I just, I, I, I want to rewatch them again by myself, maybe. But, uh, uh. Temple of Doom. Temple of Doom was... I, I don't think I'm going to like that it's one. That, gar- was, like, that, that was bad. I went into it like, oh, I'm just going to watch the first three. I'm not even going to watch freaking Crystal Skull or whatever. That doesn't even exist to me. And I watched Temple of Doom and I was like, this is fucking terrible. This is really bad. Like how... like I do not remember it being... I probably liked it just fine when I was a kid, but I do not remember it being like legitimately bad. That's far and away the one I thought was the worst. But the other yeah. two, and you know what? The other two I might not have liked because I was dealing with my kids and shit, and it was just not as enjoyable. But the acting's not good, man. Like, I don't think, like, the story is fun. Like, that's not what I was having a problem with. I was having a problem with the acting being just awful, man. Like, I mean, it's not any worse than, like, Blind Fury that we just watched too long ago. <laughs> no, but Blind Fury's not looked at like a classic. Like, Indiana Jones is oh, yeah. held on this pedestal like this great franchise. If I watch Blind Fury, I expect to see shitting act- <laughs> acting. Dude, like, look at the cover. I ordered the Blu-ray because of how bad it looked. I mean... Yeah. yeah. I mean, Sean Connery in, in Last Crusade is hilarious. He's so, like, Sean Connery, and he just kind of screws up everything along the way, the whole movie. Um, they're, they're, they're way cheesier than I remember them being. That's... But. That's it. Is they're they're cornier than I thought they were. I, I didn't I hadn't seen them in a long time either. Yeah, yeah, but I mean to be to be honest, so is Star Wars. They're like yeah. they're like fun serials. Um, that's George Lucas. That's like yeah. his style. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, um, it's think- it's not meant to be taken seriously. Those are no. two of the best movies ever made, though. I mean, Raiders <laughs> of the Lost Ark is probably my favorite Spielberg movie. That's a a great movie. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ra- Raiders. I don't fucking care. Raiders and Last Crusade. I can't decide which one I liked better. I really liked uh, Last Crusade as well. Um, had way cheesier, stupider moments in it, but I overall, like, I think I enjoyed it just about as much as Raiders. But yeah, I think I think. Raiders is technically a better movie, yeah. but um, Crusader Crusade is just as fun for sure. Yeah. Um, now, but yeah, don't get me I, wrong, I would watch those two movies again, and I would absolutely watch them with you guys, just because I don't think that they're just trash movies or anything. I just, I think I just was expecting them to be something that they weren't because I hadn't seen them in a long time, and I'm the kind of person that legitimately gets irritated about stuff like that. So, <laughs> oh. you know, yeah. I, I no, stand- I- Go ahead. That, that that genuinely offended me a little bit, though. <laughs> like, I've always Dude, the fact loved. That you said that two of the best movies ever made irritated me. So I mean, you know. Yeah, I whatever. mean, I've I've always loved Indiana Jones, um, ever since I was a kid, and I'm, I've always loved it more than Star Wars. So, those are always been my movies. I mean, I don't think Star Wars is as good as everybody else thinks it is, but I like it. Yeah, I know. I I got really mad at you the first time you told me that too. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, but, mean, I mean, you know, there's tons of shit that I dearly love that you don't like. So I mean, you know, it's kind of one of those yeah. things when we watch so much stuff together. There's gonna be so many times where we're like, "No, fuck you, no, fuck you." <laughs> then like next day we're like, "Hey, you wanna go watch a movie?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but now uh, Josh and I talking about it is kind of what had me watch them. Um, 
and we talked about it. Well, it's odd that you watched them too, because I, I just recently caught them again, and I, I don't remember why. I think I think it was just solely because the kids wanted to watch them for some reason. <laughs> Carissa loves them. She still likes them a lot, and I think she would probably smack me in the back of my head. Shut <laughs> up! I don't fucking have to deal with getting smacked around. But Harrison Ford, I figured it out, dude. He's just not a good actor, man. The guy's he's he's Harrison Ford, and he's awesome. Yeah. But he just acts like himself all the time. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't usually have a problem with it, but. Like as an, uh, you know what movie I really like though? I like The Fugitive. I love that movie. I haven't seen that in a long time either. That's also yeah. a great movie. Yeah, that was a, that was one that I really liked. But I like Tommy Lee Jones and his giant earlobes quite a bit too. <laughs> They're like this big. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. <laughs> like those guys are both so grumpy. It's awesome. They're like my they like my grandpas. <laughs> I don't know. They might be. I never met my grandpas. What am I talking about? Whatever. They're like my uncles or something. Anyway. But, uh, you watch anything else, Josh? Uh, yeah, I watched a few things. Uh, I, I think I, to- I texted you guys I watched Thief. Um, That's right. Yeah, it was very recently. Dang, man. Dude, I felt like that was two weeks ago, man. Oh. How'd you, <laughs> li- how'd you like it? I liked it a lot. It's a, just a really good. A heist movie and slow it's burn, it, but good huh slow burn and it's really like less about the heist than it is about him and it like it's sort of a love story too yeah uh him him uh wanting to get out of the life and all that stuff it's much more of a character piece than a heist movie than i was expecting but oh, okay yeah, yeah. I, I really, really liked it. it a lot yeah it was really good great ending i agree i watched yeah. this movie uh this movie called somebody recommended it to me a couple of times on my channel and i just never got around to it and i've been doing live streams again and somebody said hey I, i'm the guy that said this on 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 shutter and i said man i'm sorry dude i'm gonna watch that this week and i wrote it on my board and it's called downrange and when i looked at the premise i was like oh man i should have watched this a long time ago when that guy mentioned it because the premise is exactly like something i would like it's about these kids that are driving across the country to go do something. I don't remember exactly what they're going to go do, but they have a blowout on the side of the road and they're changing their car. And this dude, they're out in the middle of nowhere. And this guy just starts picking them off with a rifle. And it sounds kind of dumb and it sounds simple. It is not, it gets very, very crazy. And I was like, holy shit. And at the end of it, they, they fucking got me, dude. I'm not gonna tell you what happened at all. Like, I don't ever get got like this in a movie like this. I always get it right, and I got it so wrong. And I was like, oh man, like, dude, like, a minute and a half before it over with, I was just kind of like, that was awesome, but the end was kind of, and then all of a sudden I was like, holy crap. And then something happened, and I was like, I looked at Chris, and she was like, okay, that made the movie so much better. And it was awesome, dude. The movie is bananas very good recommendation from that guy i don't know that josh would care too much for it chris would probably dig it josh might like it okay but i don't think you i don't think you miss it if you don't watch it but chris you'd probably like it but uh i like i like endings like that that just kind of make the whole movie well dude i was like wow that is exactly what i would have done if i was in this guy's position and (laughs) i rarely get to say that usually i'm going oh come on but uh yeah good stuff man good movie and I got so a copy. Is it like a, of is it like a twist ending or just like a surprise ending? A surprise ending, and you're like, oh, oh, oh. like, okay. yeah, buddy, and it's awesome. But uh, and I bought a copy of the Mask on Blu-ray, so I want to watch that with the kids. <laughs> Shockingly hard to find for an affordable price, by the way. So, really? <laughs> hmm. but uh, I don't think I've seen that since I was a kid. Oh, it's terrible, but it's fun. Yeah, that's terrible. But this is kind of like what, what I was just saying. Like, I know it's going to be crappy, so I'm watching it. Doesn't bother me because I know it's going to suck. But uh, <laughs> it actually is quite a bit better than it. Than it. Than it. It's one of those things. It's kind of like a. It's like a full circle. You're like, I watched it as a kid. I liked it, but it's not very good. But then when you watch it again, you're like, okay, never mind. It's better than I thought it was. But it's not like some great piece of film or anything. But I like. Uh, Cable Guy is always the one that I tell people, like, if you haven't watched it in a long time and you're actually older, go watch Cable Guy. You'll you'll appreciate it more as an adult because it's, it's weird, but it's way darker and creepier than people remember it being. Dude, yeah, I love that, that movie. That movie is so dark. That movie is <laughs> I think, so dark. I think people think of it as a comedy, but it's like, 
right? It is, it is, but it's not. It's so like creepy. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna watch that one soon. I like that movie a lot, but uh, awesome. And we're gonna still do uh, I Saw the Devil this week. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm so psyched for that one, dude. I think that this this episode and I think next week's episode will get decent views because of the titles that we're watching. Cool. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Because, uh, I've been looking for these movies are pretty popular. I saw Devil's gonna get views because that movie's badass, dude. Yeah, that's been on my watch list for forever. And I just kept passing yeah. it up and never got around to it. In the event that anybody from over in all the Asian countries see this, I wanna say a sincere thank you. All the people from over in Japan and Korea that have been jumping on and watching my stuff, be it a reaction or a movie thing, have been nothing but respectful and cool. And I appreciate it. Like, for real, I'm not trying to be silly or anything. Like, thank you, man. They've given me information. They've given me stuff to watch, stuff to listen to. I've become fans of tons of stuff because of their uh, just kindness. So thank you to everybody from that part of the world. You're awesome, and you deserve a thank you. And I don't think people give thank yous out enough. So, just I was thinking about it and wanted to say that. So, but uh, cool, man. Well, yeah. Anything else we want to talk about before we go? I don't okay. think so. Cool. We just filmed uh, me, and my final girl, episode four, talking about George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead and Dawn of the Dead, and then the 2004 Dawn of the Dead remake. Uh, unfortunately we had two interruptions so there's gonna be two hard cuts in the video it was one was a uh, child getting hurt and screaming so i had to address it <laughs> but um so my apologies for the cuts in it i usually don't cut stuff out of the video i like it to be as just natural as possible and free-flowing but uh thank you to all my patreon members we added a new one today so i gotta get that person on the uh credit roll and uh yeah awesome well thank you everybody for watching i appreciate it we'll be back, be back next week with uh i saw the devil he was on his way to georgia sweet hell yeah fucking a all right (laughs) 